a Christian, you say I'm a follower of God, but then your life does not glorify God the way he wants to be glorified. Your accent, your dress, your mindset, that which is important to you. You are idolizing something else, but claiming to be of God. So the question then becomes is, what God? Because God does not want to be represented as an icon of sex. So if you are God's seed, you should not be a sexual icon. You should not be sacrificing yourself in that way because now you're changing the image of the incorruptible God. You're changing his reflection. He won't accept that. Go farther with me. Therefore, what does he do? He says, before I hold on to you and let you try to change my reflection, change my nature, change my image, I'll give you up. This is what he says. Verse, verse 24. Therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness. Now, that word in the Greek means rotting flesh. He gave themselves, gave them up to let you rot in your flesh, to let you decay, to let you destroy yourself. I'll give you up before I let you change my glory into corruption. Pay attention. Oh, my God. Now, he gave them up, the Bible says, look at this, in the lust of their hearts to, here's the key, dishonor their bodies among themselves. God! Now, 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 I'm going a little bit farther, but I need you to pin the dishonor of the body because that is so significant. He says, look, I gave them up to the lust of their heart. That's what happened to Israel. He was telling Moses, I'm going to let these people go. Moses interceded for them. He said, because the lust in their heart has become so great, when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it's finished, it bringeth forth death. These people are so consumed by their lust, I'll give them up and raise up another nation to you. I'll raise up another people rather than trying to, trying to transform these people. I'll release them. They have a reprobate mind. I'll give them up to the lust of their heart to do the things which are unseemingly. This is the stuff they want to do. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, to dishonor their body. No understanding of the body. Help me, Holy Ghost. They don't have an understanding of the body. They don't understand what the body was created for, what God designed the body for, and what they do as a result of the lack of knowledge, the lack of instruction. They dishonor. Hey! I want to go ahead. I really do. This point is pulling on me so bad. They dishonor their body. They dishonor the body. They dishonor. Let me put it in a way you can understand. They dishonor the sanctuary. They don't understand what the body represents. And because of the lust of their heart, they dishonor the sanctuary. 1 Corinthians 6, know ye not that your body is the temple for the Holy Spirit to dwell. They did ah, They're so consumed with their lust, they dishonor the sanctuary. Jesus. Sit down, let me teach. Oh, we're going to teach it here this morning. They worship, he said. And serve the creature rather than the creator. Ah! They're using the sanctuary, the body, to worship the creature. They're in sexual idolatry. That they have taken the place that I have deemed to be my sanctuary. And laid it down with harlots and whores. And he that becomes. Hey you don't hear what I'm saying. They're taking my sanctuary. And defiling it. Let me teach. They are so consumed with their idol. That they're changing the glory. Changing the glory. Look at this. He says for this reason. That God gave them up to vile passions, nasty, unclean passions. For even the women exchange the natural use of what is against nature. Likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust for one another. Men with men committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of the error which was due. I'm going to take you in a minute to Leviticus.